The jump squat is a power move. We're trying to move quickly, get up in the air, and then we do want to absorb that force as we come down. Now, you may say, well, Lisa, why aren't we doing the impact as we come down? Because I don't want anyone to get hurt. You know, normally when we're jumping down for some things, we want to jump down and land like a spring. But as we're doing a jump squat, we are forcefully pushing through the floor to get up as high as we can. And those are the ground reaction forces that we want that causes compression on our bones. So a jump squat's going to look like this. So I'm gonna squat and then jump up and reach up with one hand, come back into a squat, jump up and reach up with the other hand. So squat, reach, reach, reach. So that's what it looks like. If you're not doing jumps yet, or you want a little assistance with your jumps, we've gone over this before, but I'll show you again. You can do chair assisted jumps using your arms to help you. Notice that I do let my knees bend. I don't want people landing with straight knees. That is more impact. It's a little harder on our joints. We still want to be friendly to our joints and get the benefit. And really what I want you to think about is that explosiveness into the air, building that power back in your body. And if that is still getting air under your feet is still out of range, just come up on your toes. Squat, come up quickly on your toes. So you can do any level of those, but if you want to do them together, let's do five jump squats right now. There's your other exercise snack. Just do five jump squats. You did something really great for your bones today. All right, let's alternate. One, two, three, four, five. Great job. 